The family of a Perth-based jumper who died in the Swiss Alps on Wednesday now has the heartbreaking mission of bringing his body home. Alex Duncan was enjoying his summer holidays doing what he loved when he crashed into a rock face from a 2,000 metre summit in the rugged Valley region. The 26-year-old had over five years experience and had completed more than 550 jumps. What exactly went wrong is still to be determined, but it has raised the question again, should adventure sports like base jumping be banned or at least better controlled? Joining us now from Melbourne is Ozzy Khan, who owns a skydiving training company. Ozzy, good morning to you. Thank you for your time. Good morning, Tim. How are you? I'm all right, thanks. Look, I know there's a real sort of camaraderie amongst uh, real thrill seekers and, you know, skydivers who you associate with a lot. Um, when you hear of a tragic event like this, how does it affect your collective psyche? Uh, look, you know, Tim, it's, uh, it's devastating. You know, it really is. Um, you know, you've got some very amazing people, very inspiring people. Um, that uh, showcase their sport, uh, you know, through what we've seen on social media, etc. Um, you know, the sport gives so much pleasure to so many people, and we see, you know, whether it be base jumping or skydiving or whatever it might be, um, you know, they bring great messages of inspiration to the world. And you know that, you know, you've got to, your heart goes out to, you know, the, the, the family of uh, of Alex and other people that have died in the sport. But really, you know, um, it's all about what we can learn, you know, and uh, and take what he's doing and take it to the next level. I mean, we sit back and watch in amazement and wonder when we see the incredible pictures that they, they film when they're scooting over these mountains at high speed, doing breathtaking things. But it is a dangerous sport. He has passed away this week. He probably won't be the last, let's be honest, because it's the nature of that kind of activity. But should we be yeah. looking, you talk about the lessons learned from it, should we be looking at changing things at all, banning it in certain parts of the world, uh, introducing better safety measures? What can we do? Well, look, um, you know, one thing that's true is the fact that, uh, you know, uh, base jumping is, uh, uh, the, the, oh, the participation in base jumping is certainly increasing. Um, it doesn't have the same regulations as, say, uh, skydiving, uh, you know, where you've got industry bodies like the Australian Parachute Federation that get involved. The biggest thing that we need to do is teach people how to make better decisions and how to plan their base jumps uh, so they can do it safely, you know, or relatively safely, I should say. Um, look, you know, with, with what's been happening over the last sort of uh, 12 months, you know, we've had some, uh, some leaders in the base community basically uh, uh, get together and workshop uh, how we get the information out there. Uh, base jumping uh, has had a, had a negative stigma about it, but at the end of the day, you know, as I said to you before, you know, there's some amazing experiences that can be had, had, had by it and we can actually learn from uh, each other to make it safer and make sure we're making better decisions when we get to the exit points. Yeah, let's hope so. Appreciate your time this morning, Aussie. Thanks again. And Cheers. of course our thoughts go out to Alex Duncan's family.